Hi, hello everyone. In this video, I'd like to discuss the Siemens Telegram. When you are using Siemens TI Portal software and use the 1500 PLC or i7-1200 PLC and set up the communication with the drive system, either VFD or server drive, you will see you have to set up the Siemens Telegram. Typically, from the drive side, you will see the safety Telegram 30 and the drive positioning control Telegram 105 and the torque reduction additional control 750 Telegram 750. So this is the typical Telegram while we are using the middle and high end server drive. For example, Siemens Cinemics S120 or Cinemics S210 or the new released drive Cinemics S200. Those Telegram if you are using CD or using the torque, this combination are very typical combination. When we open this Telegram 105, you will see actually for Cinemics S120, this middle and high end server drive, there are so many Telegrams showing here. I do believe for the new learner, you will feel confused. What well, they are useful, right? So especially for some special cases, you will see from the Siemens application document, sometimes you have to use the Telegram 1 or Telegram 111 or 105 or some special case if you have to use two encoders for your drive. You have to use Telegram 106, some cases. Then what does it mean of those Telegrams? In this video, I will discuss this. And definitely, this is not an easy topic. As I research, there's no comprehensive documents specially described the Siemens telegrams. So in this video, all this material and the documents I briefly summarized by myself. So hopefully, I can provide some my personal understanding for this telegram topic. Hopefully, after this video, you can reveal more details from Siemens menu. And in this video, each picture from the corner, I will show the manual where they come from. So if you like to reveal the details, then you can search the details name. Okay, so this picture came from Siemens Simit software from their help system. If you search a telegram, it can give us an over picture to see. Most of cases we will use telegram 105. So within this telegram 105, we will see it includes a lot of defined PCD here. From each PCD, you can search the PCD, send or receive signals. So each area with this color code, it actually has been defined from Siemens. They all has the control word and the status word. And what does it mean of this STW and the status word, right? So if we go to Cinemics S120, S150 list menu, and you can search the STW1 or the SW status word. Then you will see inside this word from each bool, the definition of them. Here, the STW means the control, and here, the ZSW means the status. It came from the German word originally. But the key idea is from each bool, once we use the STW and the ZSW, each bool, they all defined. That's why they pave away way when we set up the communication between the PLC and the server drive once we use the telegram. Then all those bool, byte or word, they all predefined. This enable the PLC and the drive communicate very easily. Okay, so typically we will use 105 for server drive positioning control. And the green area, this means the torque reduction. So when we use the torque reduction, other than the Telegram 750, this area also plays a role to send the torque reduction command behind. Also, while we are using Telegram 105, behind it also plays the role named DIC, dynamic control function. So this orange area, this plays a role for the dynamic control. This allows the control loop locate into the drive side. Okay, and this area typically they serve for the encoder feedback. For example, for the Telegram 105, this area serve for one encoder feedback. Okay, but in some special cases, 
if your server drive involved two encoders, if you are using S120 server drives, then that two encoders need two channels feedback to the PLC, right? Here, this Telegram 106 can serve for two encoders. This is the one encoder. This is the one encoder, okay? But most of cases, we will use one encoder as a feedback, typically mounted on the server motor. So 90% cases, we will use Telegram 105. If in any cases, if you are using the Synamics S210 server drive, this is a middle end server drive system. This page came from the Synamics S210 server drive system, this operating instruction manual, okay? But from this glance, you also feel confused what the difference between them, right? So let me explain. I would say when we play the Siemens motion control, we have the or server drive, 90% of the chances we will select the Telegram from this page. So as I introduced, most of cases we will use Telegram 105. This is a very standard Siemens server drive positioning control telegram. And it is based on the IRT communication, isochronous real time. And while we are using the telegram 105, we can use the technology object, the TO, to config the drive and use the standard function block, motion function block, to control the server drive. And I will show this technology object what that looks like. And in addition, when we use the 105, we can use the Siemens special feature that named DIC. That means positioning control loop in the drive. And also this telegram has this MOM red torque. So this came from this area for the telegram 105. This allows this telegram can collaborate with the telegram 750 for the torque reduction control. And I will quickly review in one TIA portal project, when we config this Telegram 105, what does it mean of all those things? So if I open one server drive control program, and this is the 1500 PLC, and uh, this is the S120 server drive, when we set up the perfect net communication, if we go to the drive side, okay, this is the S120 server drive, and if we double click this perfect net communication port, and here we will see. And behind this CU, it has two server drives here. So from this Telegram configuration, we can see here, it has two server drives, red and blue, two server drives. From here, we can see, this is the one typical server drive telegrams. So 30, this is for safety. And uh, 105, command and the feedback. This is Telegram 105. And this is a torque for the torque reduction for Telegram 750, okay? And while we are using the Telegram 30 for the perfect safe safety control, Siemens also provide some sample program. So using this Cena Telegram 30 control, we can use this function block to control the STO, SS1, or SLS for the server drive. Okay, so you do not need to care about the detailed bool inside behind. It's very easy to implement the city control for the server drive. And then for the server control, typically we will use the Telegram 105. When we config the Telegram 105 behind, as I introduced, firstly, we need to set up the perfect night IRT communication. So what that really means for the IRT communication? That means when we set up the communication between the PLC and the server drive, other than go to the network wheel, we set up this perfect net communication. We also need to config the top logic wheel. For the IRT communication, you need to set up the top logic from the Siemens PLC to the drive. And between the PLC and the drive, if in case you have the Ethernet switch, you have to use Siemens Ethernet switch. You have to use the Siemens scanless manager Ethernet switch. The typical one, for example, X208, the scanless X208, okay? Keep in mind, while you are using the IRT communication, you have to select the manager Ethernet switch. This pass, either you directly from the controller to the server drive, or you use the Siemens manager scanless Ethernet switch, because this top logic need to be configured very clearly. 
okay, for the IRT communication. Then once you set up the IRT communication to connect the server drive to the PLC, we will set up the technology object. This we usually call it TO. When we set up TO, so we go to the drive. And once we click this drive, so we can see this connection. So at the early beginning here, we'll show the red. Then once we config the Telegram 105, so the system will show this option, this selection, because from this right side, you will see the device type, it is Telegram 105. And once you click this, then everything will be automatically connected from the drive side and from the encoder side, because as we know, okay, from here, because as we know, the Telegram 105 that include the control and the feedback so the server drive control and the encoder feedback, they all automatically connected. And a lot of parameter behind, they also automatically connected once you select the Telegram 105, okay, here. And from the encoder, and especially from the encoder, some cases you need this, XIST. So this bits, they all automatically config and the bottom option, control loop. So we will see here the dynamic server control DIC. Default, this option will be selected, positioning control in the drive. I will explain the benefit of this DIC option, okay? But don't worry, default Siemens will select this DIC enabled. I will explain this feature after, okay? Again, this is the typical Telegram 105 for the positioning control. This is the TO. And then when we shift to the programming, you can use the IEC, those standard motion control command, MC power, MC home, MC jog, velocity control, move relative, and move absolute. They all came from the right side, the type knowledge and the motion control, all those standard motion control command. And the TO, this will be joined to here. This function block will control this server drive. It looks very easy, right? Yes. This is nowadays the typical motion control, the basic step. You set up the hardware server drive, and then you set up the telegram, then you set up the TO, then you program this motion drive. Okay? This is telegram 105. And finally, for the telegram 750, so if we go back, if you have to implement the torque reduction to limit the torque delivered from the drive, then you can add the Telegram 750. So to implement the torque reduction from the programming area, you have to use the Telegram 105 plus the Telegram 750, these two Telegrams together, then you can use the torque reduction. The typical function block will use the torque limiting Okay, the torque limiting. So here, if you have any questions about this torque reduction control, you can search my video and you can search my channel, Electrical Automation Hands-On, and here you can search torque. Then you can search, there are a lot of videos talking about torque reduction control. For example, this, MS05K. So for the Cinemics S120 torque limitation control, or this MS06H, this is talking about Cinemics S210 for the torque reduction, torque range, and torque limiting control. When we use the Telegram 105 and the Telegram 750. Okay? All right, this is the typical Telegram group to control a server motor drive. And this area from this Telegram 05 is the drive enable and the feedback, typical feedback. And this is a reduction, the torque reduction. And this area is closed loop control. And this area is an encoder feedback. This is the Telegram 105. Then let's talk about the rest of them. The Telegram 5, 3, 102. What's the difference between them? Once we understand Telegram 105, then they will be very easy. All right, let's go backward. The Telegram 5. So if we compare this diagram and this summary here, we will see the Telegram 5 compared with 105 here, 
The key difference is this green area. Again, this green area plays the role for the torque reduction. So we will see the key difference between the 5 and the 105. It is include this area, MOM red, this area. So for most of cases, if you are going to do the very typical positioning control, actually the Telegram 5, that's enough. For the IRT communication, it's very high performance. And for the drive positioning control, the control closed loop is located in the drive can provide very high performance closed loop control with this DSC function. And it's also using the TO. So everything very similar. But actually in the real case, most of cases, people will prefer using the Telegram 105. Going through all the Siemens server drive system, for example, Synamics V90, Synamics S200, Synamics S210, Synamics S120, all those Synamics server drive, they all support Telegram 105. So again, this Telegram 5 and the 105, they all using the IRT communication. So you have to design very clearly with the top logic communication from the PLC to the drive. Then let's go to this area, Telegram 3 and 102. So if we compare the 102 with 105, what the key difference between them? So we will see actually the key difference between them for the Telegram 102 and the 105, it is this communication, RT and IRT. If we have a CPU PLC here, and if we have one third end Ethernet switch, and we have the drive, we have the I.O. module, so they connect to this Ethernet switch, okay? So this Ethernet switch can from the third end, or even normal. For the RT communication, we do not need to configure the top logic. So that makes this configuration become very easy. The CPU doesn't care how I reach to the end. So as long as your Ethernet the network is communicated, that's all. You only need to care about a little bit of real time, that cycle time. So sometimes maybe default one milliseconds is too fast. You maybe decrease to four milliseconds or even eight milliseconds for that cycle time communication. But you do not need to configure the top logic. That makes your network very easy. However, when we set up the RT communication, we lose the performance using the DIC function. This will make the control closed loop, the closed loop controller in the PLC. Okay, what will cost for this? You can imagine if your PLC plays the role for the positioning control, meantime, your drive only control as the speed controller, then this makes your PLC workload become much higher than the regular control. It will make your PLC very busy. Okay, for example, I used one video show this configuration before. If you search the video, so you can reveal this video. I showed how can we use the Siemens 1200 PLC to communicate with S210 server drive by using Telegram 3. Then you may be asked a question, why we use Telegram 3 if we have a Telegram 105, right? under which situation we have to use the Telegram 3. So this is a very good question. That's because for Siemens S7-1200 PLC, this PLC does not support the IRT communication. So if you have a couple access server drive to control, then you have to select the Telegram 3 and the 102 to control the server drive because these two Telegram support the RT communication. So if your controller does not support the IRT, then you can use the Telegram 3 to control your server drives. However, the drawback is your controller will run the closed loop controller. This will make your controller very busy. Normally, if your motion control need a high dynamic response, so the Telegram 3 or 102, this RT, not using the DSC will not be recommended. So we will highly recommend we will use the i7-1500 PLC and use the IRT and use the DIC. But if your motion control do not need high dynamic, doing some conservative control, so you could consider using this Telegram 3 and 102. 
So here, the difference between the 3 and the 0, 2, so as we can see, the difference is this, the torque reduction. If we compare this diagram from this telegram 3 here and the telegram 1, 0, 2, so the difference between them still this area. If you are going to use the torque reduction under this telegram 1, 0, 2, then you add the telegram 750. Then if you add 750 for the torque reduction, so you better use the telegram 102. Then you can use the torque limit, that function block, to implement the torque reduction control with this 102 and the 750 together because you have this. Okay? So this is under the case if your controller does not support IRT or some cases if your network doesn't allow you to do the top logic configuration, then even if you are using the 1500 PLC, you still have to use RT because you cannot configure the top logic, right? Then you can shift back and use the Telegram 3 or 102 and use the RT communication to configure the Telegram 3. But again, keep in mind, under that case, your CPU will be a very higher workload because the PLC is running the role for the positioning control. Okay, again, for the DSC, I will introduce shortly after. Then let's talk about this Telegram 1 and the 111 for the Cena speed and the Cena position. I believe most of people who used the Siemens VFD control before, you were very familiar with this Cena speed control using the Telegram 1. It's very simple. For example, if you send command 047E to 047F, then you will enable the VFD control. So you can turn on the VFD. Then once you send the command 4000, for the hex command, then the VFD will run 60 hertz or 50 hertz, the full speed. So this is Telegram 1 for the speed control. Actually, the Telegram 1 and the Telegram 111, they came from the Siemens conversional system, i7-300 or 400 system. It basically an inherent method. So if you recall, for i7-300 controller and the i7-300T CPU, in that time, only TCPU has a way to config the technology object as I introduced like this, okay? This is the old way. But for the 300 standard controller, if the 300 controller communicate with the server drive S120, how this system implement the positioning control? Then the Telegram 111, this was the traditional way to implement the positioning control. And that positioning control is typically P2P, point-to-point -point positioning control. And your access each other cannot do the kinemics control. If you have to do the kinemics control, then you have to use the 300T technology CPU and set up the TO and do the kinemics control. For the simple positioning control, point-to-point, -point, so you can use the Cena pose. And if you're using the step seven, so you can search IB284 while you're using the Telegram 111. Then you would ask what the key difference between this 111 positioning control with any other, those TO positioning control, right? So there are two key difference. Firstly, when we set up the 300, or even you are using the 1200 PLC or 1500 PLC, you could still use the Telegram 111 for the Cena post communication. But while you are using this, your closed loop controller, all your control rows locate into the server drive area. Typically, your PLC only sent the positioning command. Then all the closed loop, the server drive will play the role for that. Here you may think this is a really good method because this releases a lot of efforts from the controller and your server drive plays this closed loop that make your system that workload very balanced. It's true. However, you can think about this. If your server drive plays the closed loop role, then when you tune your speed controller and positioning controller, acceleration, deceleration, a lot of those things that all locate inside the server drive. This asks your programmer needs to have a very deep, very high level server drive tuning knowledge and uh, configuration knowledge to use this Telegram 111. Compare with this 111, if you are using the TO configuration, I would say 90% of your efforts will locate from the PLC side. 
when you config the TO, for example, when you config the TO here, like I introduced, you have a lot of setting from your PLC side. Your drive side, most of cases, you only need to take care of the speed controller. Basically, you take a couple minutes tune, doing the one button tuning, then rest of the closed loop, all those acceleration limitation for those, you can configure from this TO, and then you can do the kinematics control. Very simple using the TO. But using the Telegram 111, then all those things locate into the drive side. I would say, unless in your team you have one server drive specialist, he can handle this server drive very nicely, then you could use this, no problem. PLC is very simple. Siemens provide one function block. Typically, you send a position, then you trigger this position. That's it. So the server drive will do the positioning point-to-point -point motion, no problem. But you need to take the efforts to configure the server drive as the closed loop controller and configure a lot of things for the positioning control in the S120. Okay? Again, so from the Siemens support website, you can search Sina post on the Sina speed and you can find the detail. Another key point I really like to bring up this. So when we use the Telegram 3, 102, 5, or 105, this typical 105, when you config the server drive, this basically asks you to install the start drive, the drive commissioning software, install together with the TI portal. Then under the drive starter, under the, this area from the catalog, when you do the hardware configuration, then you will find this Synamics drives, and you will find this. And once you config this drive, then this drive will automatically connect to the start drive. So you can use the start drive to do the drive commissioning tune the server drive, and it's very easy to collaborate with the TI portal, your programming side. So this makes your commissioning very easy. But for the GSD style, for the Telegram 1 and the 111, the reason why it's called the GSD, let's look at the right side. When you add the drive from the catalog, so you cannot select the drive and the starter from here. You have to go down and find this other field device. And under the Perfect I.O. drive, and here, Synamics. And here, Synamics. And then you can scroll down. For example, if you're using the Siemens S120, okay, for the Telegram 1 or Telegram 111, so you have to select this. This usually we call GSD way, GSD method. Okay, the left side I call GSD way. Okay, it's under this other field device, Perfect I.O. But right side, that's typically the start drive style. So the drive configuration is under the drive starters. Keep in mind this. And finally, let's quickly review the Telegram 1 and the 101. What's that inside of this Telegram? So if we go to the Telegram 1, so if you search the Sina speed, and you will see some manual will introduce this Telegram 1. It's very simple because it's just doing the speed control, right? So to the control command, it includes two PC. Each PCD is one word. One word is named control word. And then another word this is used to control the speed, right? That makes sense. And the feedback, the control status, and the speed feedback. The Telegram 1 is also a very common telegram while we are controlling the VFD for perfect bus or perfect night. It's a very common telegram. If you recall, the typical way if you send 047E. So the, actually behind this is the bytes, how that works. So this is the control word from this STW1 here. And the 047E, that means this. That means zero, it is here, and the 111, it is 111 from this three bits here. So you can see. So when I send the one here, 047F, that means I will turn on the VFD or server drive from off to on. If I try to reverse the direction, so I need to control this beat. This beat, this is the number 11 here. This is direction control. So 047E, this is to stop the drive, to enable the drive, to turn on the drive. I will send 047F, turn on this board, basically turn on this command. This is the control word. But this is Sina speed 
will make this life easier, then basically you just use the function block to enable the drive. Then behind, the function block will interpret all your command into all those spools behind. Okay, this is Telegram 1. And then Telegram 11, actually I code epos or the Cena position. So this is a typical word. So you can search this ID number from Siemens support website and you will see this menu. And inside this Telegram 11, it actually include 12 PCD. Because for the positioning control, we have the control command, we have the speed, we have the positioning command, right? We also have acceleration, deceleration for that. Okay, this is the Telegram 11. Then if we go back here, so let's introduce the final small topic. That's the DSC function. This is the beauty while we're using the Telegram 105 compared with all other RT Telegram or this, because this allows the positioning control closed loop locate in the drive side. Okay, let's go to the next page. So the IRT, the DIC function. Once we use the TO method, right here, when we are using the Telegram 3, 5, 105, right, 102, then we can use the technology object. Once we set up this, this will drive you to think about, okay, after we set up the TO, looks like the CPU will place the role for the positioning control. It is correct. However, the key drawback is, after all, the PLC CPU, most of cases, will run much slower than the drive. Definitely the drive is embedded system, so they can run very fast. Especially the drive has the drive control and the encoder feedback, right? So this small closed loop can definitely run much faster. Basically, it's a milliseconds speed. PLC is basically the milliseconds. Then how can we solve this slow speed? Then using this Siemens Telegram 105, this allows you to move this closed loop controller from the CPU to the drive side. Okay, from this picture. Traditionally, without the DSC, your closed loop controller locate into your PLC, the CPU inside. But once we enable this, then your closed loop will locate into the drive side. This will make your bandwidth much wider than before, and your performance will become much faster, typically one to five milliseconds. Typically 10 times faster if we run into the drive side compared with the PLC side. Here is much faster. Then to enable the feature, as I showed, once we set up the TO here, and once we go down this closed loop option here, as we can see here, the Telegram 5, 6, 105, 106, the system default will select this DNC enabled. So here, do a quick summary. So using the technology object, as we can see here, we can set multiple parameters from the CPU side. It opens a lot of features from the PLC side, makes us to config the drive very easily. And also it allows us to use the motion control command that to control the server drive very easily. Again, because of using the TO that makes the CPU likely plays a role to control running as the closed loop. But because using the Siemens Telegram 105, 106, default, it enabled the DSE function that actually move the positioning control closed loop to the drive side. So the PLC side only plays a role to send the command. The gain is located here, but the gain parameter sent from the TO from the PLC side. So this makes us to tune the server drive, this closed loop performance much easier than the traditional way. For example, the Telegram 111, the Cena post. Because to tune the Cena post, you have to open the drive and set the P parameters. For example, the Cinemics S120 has a thousands parameter inside. It's really hard to browse the correct parameter if you are not the specialist. But using the TO, this is the graph style, it's very easy for you to tune the parameter and the workload located in the drive side. This is the benefit using the TO, using the Telegram 105, and using this DSE function.
All right, let's do a quick summary. The telegram 105, safety 30, and the torque reduction 750, they are typical group to implement the Siemens server drive control with the safety, with the torque reduction, with the technology object server positioning control, or even do the kinemics control in future for next step. Then compare with the Telegram 105, if your controller or your network does not support IRT communication, then probably you have to use the Telegram 3 or 102. And then if some cases you have to do some point-to-point -point control and from the drive side, you have a drive specialist can tune the drive very nicely. Probably you can use the EPOS Sina drive position control, Telegram 111 and use the GSD way. So drive the controller from here under this other field devices to config the server drive. And your CPU can do a very simple job. Either you are using the conventional controller 300, 400, or 1200, or 1500. They all can use Telegram 111, but your drive side really need some specialist to do the drive configuration for that. And for any speed control, very simple VFD or even server speed control. So you can use the Telegram 1 and using the Cena speed and use this function block provided from the Siemens. And if your system has some safety control, you can also use the Telegram 30 plus the Telegram 1 and you have to do the torque control. You can also use the Telegram 750 and using this new group for the speed control with the torque reduction control. All right. This is the typical telegram. Definitely it has a lot of other telegrams, for example, from this manual from Siemens. This is the P0922 from Cinemics S120. This parameter inside you will see the Cinemics S120. It supports a lot of telegram behind. All right, this is the topic for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, Please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.